Hello everyone, RaptorX here, and uh, today we're going to go over force fields and on how to properly set them up. So yeah, let's get started. Now, force field is actually a project I've been looking forward to making, and uh, surprisingly, wouldn't say complicated, but not as easy as I originally thought, because uh, this requires a l quite a few uh, blocks to set up, and there's not that much material online to as to how to set it up and uh, how to get it going. So yeah, hopefully I can pass on some of the information I've learned and um, you have a successful force field around your base. So yeah, let's get started. Now, first thing we need is a for force field core, and uh, we need a transmitter, which just need a regular copper, uh, copper cable and an electronic circuit, and we need a f that makes a frequency transmitter, and that goes in the middle. Now, I uh, previously mentioned in other episodes on the, uh, the electrolyzer and uh, the electrolyzed water cells. Now we're going to need uh, quite a few of these for the whole for all, the whole setup because there uh, are quite a few blocks required this uh, this item. So if you have if you don't know how to make uh, the electrolyzer or the electrolyzed water cells, I suggest you look back in uh, into the tutorial. I'll put a link here to that tutorial if you have any questions. So yeah, let's let's get, uh, let's get going. Now just put an electrolyzer here, advanced machine block in the top, I believe. Let's see if I remember correctly. Should be like that. Perfect. Force field core. Now, this is actually kind of a, a new um, mod. So, a lot of texture packs, actually, including mine, don't include uh, modified texture packs, uh, textures for these blocks. So, these are actually the default textures for these. And they look kind of off on the compared to other blocks, but um, as long as they work, I don't have a problem with them. So yeah, let's keep on going. EU injector. Now I actually already laid this out, and uh, the only particular thing here that you probably need is the the bad box, and uh, I've gone over that in previous episodes as well. Some another two electrolyzed water cells, some refined irons, and the copper cables, top and bottom. And now you you need this to power the core, because this this is where you're gonna connect the cable to. So let's get grab one of those. Now this is the MFFS projector. Now this is what is actually going to be creating the force field itself. And uh, for that, first we need another transmitter. Grab one of those. And uh, some uh, electric circuits in the bottom. Uh, electrolyzed water cell here. And this requires actually five diamonds to make. So it starts getting a little bit more expensive, but this is pretty much as expensive as, as it gets. It's five diamonds to make the area projector. So we'll grab one of those. And to link the core to the projector, we'll need a MFFS uh, card. And to do that, we need some paper. So uh, grab some uh, grab some sugar canes here. Let's make as much as we can here. We actually only need eight, but uh, we'll have one left over. That's fine. And uh, just an electronic circuit in the middle. There you go. Blank MFFS card. And uh, this is what we're going to use to connect the core to the projector like I mentioned. So we'll go grab one of those. Now uh, with these three items you can already set up uh, a force field and it's raining outside. Let me put the volume down. Not like that. Should be fine. It's kind of annoying when it rains so much noise. So yeah, um, you can put upgrades to the core itself. And uh, like I mentioned, with these three items already, you can already make a force field. But we want to take it up a notch and, uh, and make it interesting. Now, first things first. We need to make, I believe, is another transmitter. Actually, let me look this one, this one up because I've already forgotten how to make it. Pretty much called a camouflage uh, force field camouflage upgrade. And yeah, we need a fre frequency transmitter for that. So let's grab one of those. There you go. Put them in the middle. Some advanced alloys. I've gone over these before as well. That's something else. We don't need to make that right now. And here it is. This is the force field camouflage upgrade. And uh, I'll show you what this does in, the, in once we've set everything up. Uh, now we need to make call, something called the zapper. It's an upgrade for the force field. And um, somebody mentioned in the, one of the comments in one of the previous videos that I should make a a tutorial on the Tesla coil. Now I've looked into Tesla coil and um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just you pretty much uh, it creates a five by five block around the Tesla coil and it does damage. Like it pretty much electrocutes the the mob or the, the person around it. 
but I wanted to include it into this tutorial because um, pretty much what it does is if you get close to the force field itself it will zap you and uh, and yeah pr but pretty much any block around the force field will zap you. The Tesla coil meanwhile only has a, a, a very small radius so you need to create quite a few of those to have any reasonable effect and I'll show you what I mean about that in a, in a second when I, when I lay everything out. So first let's put an electronic circuit here, some uh, refined iron on the sides. Medium voltage transformer is the same one that we use for the medium voltage solar arrays. And then just some redstone all around. There you go, Tesla coil, that what I was just talking about. Now we just to make the upgrade all you need is a Tesla coil in the middle and advanced alloys all around. There you go, force to a zapper upgrade. Grab that and put that here. And now to activate and deactivate this whole system um, you will need some way to trigger it. Now obviously the trigger is via redstone. The problem with this system is that if you activate it while you're inside the force field you'll be fine because you can deactivate it. But if for example if somebody comes inside my base and activates the force field and I'm outside my base I'm screwed. I can't go back inside. Uh, because as long as the the force field is constantly being powered by uh, solar arrays. I believe you will take somewhere around 13 nukes, not at the same time, but like one after another. So it draws all the power out of the out of the the core itself. So anything short of Armageddon, you you won't be able to get in. So let's make a remote. Now for the remote, it's actually quite interesting how to make it. You need some ender pearls, so you need to kill some uh, endermen. And uh, just redstone and glowstone. Uh, we need two of those. One for the transmitter, one for the receiver. Grab that. And uh, we also need to make some um, obsidian sticks. Let's make four of those. Put that here. Top. Here we go. Wireless transceiver. <laughs> grab some obsidian sticks. Leave it here. Now, the first thing we need to make is a uh, the remote. So it just needs a wireless transceiver and a regular button. Here you go. Grab that. And now what we need to make is the uh, receiver. And uh, what to do that, all you need to do is first we need to make a st stone bow, I believe it's called. Yeah, there you go. And put that on top of the wireless transceiver. Get a receiver dish. And then put this on top of a obsidian stick. Actually first, hold on to make uh, some stone wafers with a uh, redstone. Go, I should, we'll probably need, oh crap, oh well. I wanted to go grab more redstone, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's put two of these here. I believe there's another one here. Sitting stick and then receiver dish on top. And there you go, wireless receiver. I'll, set, I'll show you guys how to set that up in a second. Now what we need to make is uh, something called the knot gate. And that's what I was trying to make, but I used up all of my redstone, so I have to go grab some more from here. We don't need all that, but we'll be fine for now. So just put uh, three stone wafers in the bottom, some uh, redstone on top, like this. Make three of those, perfect. Now we need to put a stone wafer and I believe it's a redstone torch to make a cathode. There you go. Uh, I, th I believe that's all I need. Let me look that up. Not gate. Yep, that's it. All right. So we need stone wafers in the corners, empty ones. Some uh, stone. Uh, what, is, what are these called? Anodes, and then a stone wire in the bottom. There you go. Next is a uh, not gate. And now uh, I'll show you how this works with the uh, wireless receiver in a second. So now let's go to the roof where we have the the power room. Uh, come on. Oh, there you go. Now the the EU injector can actually take uh, extremely high voltage, uh, so it won't blow up. You don't need to worry about like the other machines that will probably blow up if uh, if not properly uh, set up with uh, transformers and so on. So what we want to do now is uh, get some cables here. I don't need the ring for now, so I'll just take that off. Take this off. Grab all these blocks. There you go. So first things first, set up some cable here for the EU 
injector, which is this thing, and s notice how it connects. Then we put the force field core on top of it. And actually, hmm, I forgot to make something. All right, now we're back. Forgot to make, <laughs> out of all the things I could have forgotten, I forgot to make a lever. All right, so pretty much what you have to do now is put a, uh, the lever directly on the core itself. And you turn it on, you notice it changes color, so does this. And uh, you can right click it and notice that the force field power storage is going up. Now, how this works, pretty much a one power unit, I believe is uh, 10 EU. So this will go, actually it's the other way around, sorry. It's 10 power units per EU, so this will actually go up to 10 million units, but it's actually just 1 million EU. So compared to the MFSU, which holds 10 million, this should be a pretty easy. I mean, right now it's night, and uh, I have two MFSUs, so it should be more than fine. Now, this is charging up. Meanwhile, I want to put a blank MFFS card in here, into the frequency card slot here, and you see, notice it changes the color, and the item itself is different. And uh, now what, it, what this means, it's linked to the generator core, and uh, w w when I put it into the area projector, it will be linked to it. Now, what I want to make now is the receiver here. Set this up. Now put the NOT gate here. And now what this will do is uh, once I connect it to the wireless remote, the signal will be sent and it will deactivate the force field temporarily while I have the remote activated. Now to do that, I have to hold shift while I have the remote in my hand and then right click and it will, this uh, little screen pops up and you can choose this, the, the frequency. Now, you can set up any frequency here, uh, just set it to uh, 13, uh, and then you can just right click the receiver with the remote already on the right frequency that you want, and you'll notice that it changes the number on the sides here of the receiver. Now if I right click, you'll, no you'll notice the color, uh, the signal changes, and it's the redstone signal is deactivated. Now what this will do is pretty much, uh, as long as I hold right, uh, my right click uh, on my mouse, the force will be deactivated. As soon as I let go of it, the force will be reactivated. Now this is great if you want to just go in and out, just hold it, right click, in, out. You don't have to worry about turning any uh, uh, switches or levers or be having to worry about being left outside of, the, of your force field or being even stuck inside. That could be a chance as well. So now what we want to do here is uh, put the, the projector here and uh, set it up. Now, you right click on it, you have this interface. Right now you see that there's no power available. That's because I haven't linked it to the to the core yet. And there's different modes here. There's cube or sphere. Uh, I personally prefer sphere. And uh, this radius has a minimum of four, uh, up to a maximum of 32. And actually what I wanna do is put it all the way to the maximum. Now I've already tried this before and I noticed that um, even at 32 it won't cover my whole base for, uh, unfortunately and you can't make it any bigger. Um, but I mean that's fine for now. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm on my own on this server so it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think I'll be under attack anytime soon. So uh, yeah, this is just uh, for demonstration purposes. Now as soon as, soon as I put this frequency card into the frequency slot, the force will be activated. There you go. Now, if I remove this card, the uh, force field will be removed. All right, now, after going in circles for a while, trying to figure out why it wasn't working, turns out that uh, last time I tried this out was because I had the, the protector on top of the core itself, which is a, another, another layout you can try. Um, I didn't try that this time, and it turns out that you have to put the upgrades directly on the, on the projector or if the projector is attached to the core, then you can put it on the core as long as there's a block connecting the two. So that's why it wasn't working. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, so yeah, let's put the upgrades now. So you can see here it changed color and uh, the zapper on the other side. And uh, yeah, now the defect I don't believe should be on. Let's try that out now. Let's look outside. Okay, now it, this time it took effect even though it doesn't look like it, the force field is actually on now. You can't see it because of the, the camouflage. But uh, 
it, if it doesn't work, well, as soon as you put them in, all you have to do is just uh, uh, what call it? Cut the power, the redstone uh, signal to it, and uh, reset it, and it will pick up the the changes that you did, the upgrades that you did. Now, if I go next to the force field here, it's actually hitting me. As you can see here, that's the the Tesla coil, the upgrade, the zapper update upgrade that I did to it and that's uh, that's actually doing damage now it doesn't look like it because I have a uh, quantum armor on but uh, as long as this is charged uh, I won't take any damage now this is actually pretty cool because it actually also stops rain from coming in even though you can't see it so it's actually quite nice once you're inside it, the rain stopped and uh, not even rain can go in through a force field now like I mentioned the force field is pretty much indestructible from the nukes and uh, all kinds of other stuff and uh, if I'm now with the zapper upgrade, now even if mobs try to get close to it, as long as the insides are obviously well lit up and mobs don't spawn in the inside, if they try coming inside, even if they get close to the force field, they'll get zapped and uh, they'll want to turn around pretty quick. Now, this is, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty nice upgrade they did. It's, uh, I wish there was better uh, uh, documentation, I guess, uh, better uh, content online to figure it out on your own. But uh, hopefully this tutorial will help you guys out and uh, and set up your, your first force field. So yeah, if you have any questions, like always, make sure you leave a comment down below. And uh, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.